Hello and welcome to the Badminton Ireland magazine show, now being released weekly on badmintonireland.tv. On this week's show, we bring you highlights from the Carlton Irish Future Series. The three-day event was organised and run completely by women as part of the Women in Badminton campaign. The event saw a record-breaking entry from 23 countries. All the action was streamed live on the Carlton Court at Baldoyle Badminton Centre on badmintonireland.tv. We caught up with national coach Dan McGee to get his reaction from the Irish performance from the weekend. Yeah, it was a number of good performances from the Irish players. Um, we had some of our younger players, some of our more established players playing, so there were some good performances. Uh, well, from the junior players, we had uh, two quarter finalists. We had Rachel Dara, who's in the talent group. Um, she lost out to the winner of the tournament, um, Lansac, and uh, she had a really good win in the opening round, which beat the number six seed. Uh, in the quarterfinals of the men's singles, Joshua McGee uh, lost out to the winner in three sets, uh, Keisty from Finland, but had a number of good wins over his oppositions in the opening two rounds. In the ladies' doubles, uh, we also had a semi-final from um, Alana Stevenson, who's in the talent group, and Kitty Smith. So they had a really good uh, performance there. And from our more established players, Jonathan and Sam, Sam McGee's experience uh, came through and uh, Jonathan Dolan really stepped up to the mark. This is one of their first tournaments together and they've been training now for a number of months and uh, you can see how it's coming out on court. Really good performance from the lads and uh, they look comfortable in the final and they're open to matches, they play really strong and they were really, really good in the big points. And, uh, it's a good partnership for the future. Like it'll feature all these players again and also we'll have our Irish number one men singles player Scott Evans back in action so Scott recently was playing in Denmark and beat uh, world number 39 Vili Lang from Finland he's looking in good form so he'll be back in December for that we've got a preliminary match before that where we've got an Ireland against the Swedish lineup uh, we're hoping for a Russian lineup to be there as well so we'll get to see the younger players in action and we'll get to see our Olympians, Chloe and Scott, along with Sam and Johnny back on court and all the younger players that have featured in Irish Future Series. So it's exciting times for Irish Bampton. For more information and results from the tournament, please visit badmintonireland.com. A big thank you goes out to all the volunteers from the event and to the umpires. And now I look ahead to next week's show about the Badminton Ireland Academy and the launch of its new cell in Baldoyle Badminton Centre. So uh, we started the Badminton Ireland Academy now for the last two years and uh, we've moved the training to Marino and it's part now of the performance pathway structure. So we look at taking the kids from school and we bring them into the academy. Tune in next week for more news from Badminton Ireland. Thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe to these videos.